Hello everybody, and welcome back to another update video for uh, Let's Roleplay Room Total War The Broody Eye Campaign. It's now time, as you may have been sort of uh, watching and thinking, it's now time for a new console. Titus Brutus has done his business, he's done as much as he can do, and it's time for a new console to step up to the plate for the next phase of the campaign. The war with the Macedon, of course. Now, uh, yes, I'm taking I'm taking applications once again. More about that uh, in a short while. But uh, just for those of you that are not familiar, obviously this is an RP, type LP. All the actions that are happening on the campaign map are as a result of interactions that are happening over at the forum. And uh, as console, you will get to command the army that will be sent against the Macedons. You will have a say on the strategies to be to use for each battle, where you want to attack, how you want to go about it, anything to do with the army, anything to do with the military campaign against the Macedons uh, in respects of your army, you have the say so. The captain will give you the troops, the captain will give you plans and advice on how to go about your business to sustain the least amount of casualties whether you adhere to that advice is totally up to you um, but now this is your chance to get involved in the RP and shape the way the campaign will fare so uh, yes that is the first thing that I want to say so yes how do you apply to become consul you ask well it's quite simple like before it's an application process the first question that you need to address is basically an introduction to your character. You will need to pick a family member from the campaign map, apart from the faction leader and the factionaire. So pick yourself a family member that you want to become consul, who you want to become, and then give us a brief introduction about the character's background. Bear in mind where that character may have been for the past few parts of the campaign. So if you're going to pick Cassius, who's governor of Apollonia, I think, I might be wrong, but I'm just guessing here. Then, you know, build that into your introduction. You know, it's no point say, saying he's been swanning off somewhere in Egypt when he hasn't. He's been on the campaign map sat in Apollonia for the whole time. <laughs> so just build that into your introduction. Uh, secondly, why do you want the job as consul? Why? In an RP sense, why does your particular character want to become, you know, is it to, is it to honour the family? Is it to for his own personal glory, you know? Uh, what qualities does your character possess? You know, does he have, you know, steel? Is he a patient man? Is he whatever? Just think of something that why your character. Not why you personally, you know. Not that, you know, I watch all your videos and I love your Total War videos and blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. Why does your character want to become consul? Why should he be given that spot above anybody else? And what qualities does he have to assist him in such... Uh, a prestigious role. And finally, what plans do you have for your first couple of years in the consul seat? What would you sort of go about? What would be your ideas for how to go about attacking the Macedonians? Because that is your objective as consul. It is to eradicate the Macedonians. That is your that is your sole task. So why would you go about setting up the, the plan. How would you about go about preparing your army? What potential route would you take through the lands? And that is the application. Now, a couple of things I want to say about the application itself. Um, I, I get quite a few, and I imagine there'll be quite a few again. People want to get involved in the RP, people want to shape the campaign and will probably want to pick a, a, a family member off the campaign map and become consul and shoo, go into battle and whatever. Perfectly fine, but the, due to the t time I have on my hands, which is very small and the amount of uh, applications I do get, I do have a, a bit of a filtering system uh, where certain applications just get phew, uh not thrown in the bin literally, but you know what I mean. I just go right. That's not going to be in. That's not, and it's basically this: it's spelling and grammar. If I see a, an application that's a wall of text with no punctuation whatsoever, generally speaking, that just phew, off it goes. So just take a bit of time. I know people are 
don't have English as a first language. Not everybody does, and uh, but you know, just just a bit of punctuation and a bit of paragraphing, and that's it. Spellings as well, you know, you don't have to be, well, you know, don't have to be 100% accurate. Even I get spelling mistakes, but when every other word is spelled incorrectly, it just makes it a lot harder to read. And uh, it will, therefore, because you will be posting in the forums, uh, you know, there has to be consideration for your uh, ability to post as well. So, spelling and grammar, just take a little bit of time, a little bit of punctuation here and there, you know, it might uh, work wonders and it will give me more applications. To, to look through. Secondly is uh, what is the secondly? <laughs> I had it in my mind and I've just totally gone blank again. Um, yeah, applications have to answer the four questions that I lay out: character introduction, why you want the job, what qualities you possess, and um, your plans for the first couple of years um, in in office. Basically, applications that don't answer the four questions only answer two of them, or only answer three of them they get disregarded as well. Uh, obviously my re reasoning for that is if you can't answer the questions on the application process then obviously you're not paying attention and therefore if you don't pay attention to an application process how are you going to pay attention to the comings and goings that happen in the forum during the RP? And that is the main two, you know. Please make the application easy to read with the with the, you know semi decent spelling and, and, and grammar and, and punctuation and paragraphing that's that's marvelous and answer all the questions if you can manage to do both of those then the application will go into my uh, pile of I need to read these and consider carefully for, for the job uh, so that's the application process as per the past ones the ways to apply are via my personal message inbox on YouTube send me a personal message with the application on it. Similarly, there is a, a, web, uh, a, a forum where the RP takes place. Uh, you should be aware of it by now. The, the link will be posted. Go over there into the Rome, uh, total, total, the Rome Total War RP section. Have a look at some of the posts that have been made in the Capitol Hill and in the official orders just to get a general feel of how things work and how the RP is set up. Have a look at some of the past consul's uh, postings as well to see how he went about his business uh, just to give you an idea of how the role works. You can send me a personal, Im uh, personal message via the forum as a second way to do it. And the third way is to send it to uh, my LP email address which again I will contain in the comment in the description of this video. So they're the three ways. In inbox via YouTube, inbox via the, the forums or by um, email to the to the LP email address. So that's the application process. You've got until Sunday which will be the 27th. So you've got a good four or five days to get your applications in um, and the winning applicant will be announced on Sunday implemented into the RP and you will become the new consul. So that is that. Uh, there's not really much else to say. Console, we are waiting eagerly for you. The war with the master is about to start and you're, you are required to rain holy death upon the Macedonians. Get your applications in, get over to the forums, have a read of some of the postings to get a feel for how it works. And fingers crossed, by Sunday, the winning application will be picked and you will be implemented into the RP as Consul. And you will have full control over that army and command it in the way, best way you can to eliminate the Macedonians off the face of the map. So until next time, I look forward to reading your applications. I'll see you soon.